good morning guys and welcome to today's video love our day by day logo on our trailer just noticed it anyway welcome to today today is the day that we don't go to a horse show it is also the day that i'm wearing sophia's jacket don't tell her though she's gonna lose her mind i don't know where mine is i think it's in the horse trailer and i didn't want to be cold so i grabbed the first one i saw and yeah she doesn't like me wearing her clothes guys that moment i come to get the horses food and give it to them and i see this in every single little feed pan are a few little horse treats that sophie won that just makes me feel so happy like she's just so sweet you guys have no idea how sweet that little girl is good morning hello good morning <gasps> Hello, hello, Silent Stella. She put treats in all their buckets, and when I get down to Finn's bucket, I see this. If there was a doubt in my mind who put the treats in there before, now I know that it is the owner of Finn because he got a carrot. <laughs> You're getting a carrot, Mr. Champion. You got a carrot. <laughs> you guys, I'm arranging to show her this summer, not me. Oh my God, Stella, that is a lot of poop. Here, over here, away from the poop. So there's a fair coming up soon, later in the summer. And I talked to her trainer into uh, teaching us how to show Willow because Sophie really wants to show her in hand. And she said, oh, yes. So she's gonna teach us. We're gonna do a couple of lessons with Willow and teach us how to show the minis at the fair and we're gonna show the mini at the fair. And I thought like, since we're taking the mini, why can't that be the day that Stella has her first show with us? So yeah, we're gonna try that. We're gonna, we're gonna work on showing Stella this summer. It'll probably be Gabby. One of the worst things to do on a farm is water buckets, but I love giving our horses fresh water every single day. Literally the day that I, like whenever I change their water and it's all fresh they drink the whole entire thing and that makes me feel good That's why I like to change it every single day, but it is awful. It's awful carrying buckets of water All right, mr. Champion uh, Not this way no that's extra No, miss uh, Snoopy pants what you doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Stella. <laughs> she is getting more adventurous every day. Little Miss Willow, you're going to be in a show. Oh, good girls. And there's Hendrix. Going to pour rain today, so I'll feed them lunch inside probably just because I like my hay to stay dry and fresh and not blow away, but it's glorious outside right now. I'm thinking about taking that little piece of fencing out there do you guys see it and making this big one big bigger field now because the girls just have free run of it now that there's no grass back there and eventually it'll be a bigger 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 field but i'm kind of stopping myself from doing it because um if we ever need to bring the boys in we always have that the boys are on grass full time now and this stall over here we have champion number one who took Sophia to champion the hack. And they competed with 11 riders, you guys. 11 riders. And she was probably the youngest one there and she won champion in the hack. That's a huge thing, it's three divisions and it was really hard, really competitive. This boy in stall number two is a champion of walk trot poles. Right, Mr. Finn? This boy, his second show ever, uh, first experience really to horse showing and this dude took his owner to champion in walk drop poles. 
Uh, and he's also covered in pee. That's just fabulous, man. Hope no bugs bite you now. I guess that's his way of uh, bug repellent. But anyway, I'm gonna try walk these babies out all by myself. Miss Champion ended up showing up, so uh, she's gonna help me to take her own horse. This is me, I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. You're wearing my coat. I'm wearing. Oh shoot! I thought mine was pink. Oh, sorry about that. We're the champion. Show name, we're the champion. He's changed show name so many times, but what's his actual real show name, so Sophie? Um, special F. Special FX, he came with that show name. The horses have officially eaten down this entire small paddock. We're gonna, so after it rains today, Sam's gonna have to go out tomorrow and make this paddock bigger for them. Cause they did it, you guys, they ate the whole paddock. You can let him go. Finn's got the right idea, but look at our field. It's so empty. So now we need to move on to greener pastures. We need that whole field. Just we'll do it tomorrow. This is what's going to have to happen tomorrow. So, Sophie and I cannot believe Finn won champion. Like, he's green. He's green to shows, and he's like doesn't have a ton of training, right? Yes, and he just win, goes over there and wins champion. But the thing that was so crazy was that he was so calm and was going he slow. He trotted in there like he owned the place. He did do that, didn't he? So that's one of the big appeals about Finn is that one of the reasons that our trainer wanted us to buy him is that he, that attitude where you can take him anywhere and even if he's nervous, he just kind of just does what he has to do. Once he gets used to it, he's like, I own this place now. Yeah, like, so the confidence level in that boy has increased dramatically in the last week because we've been shipping him out, shipping him out a lot for lessons, preparing for our show, and yeah, it's been amazing. Like, I am so proud of all of my girls and all of my boys. I'm proud of you, Sophie. What What do you think I'm proud of you, of you for? Being brave to get on my boy and just ride him. Right, I'm proud of you for being brave, but not really, because you are brave. I don't expect you to be brave on that boy. He's an easy boy. Until I ride him, Ellen. He's just like cuckoo and crazy. But you can ride a cuckoo crazy boy now. Yeah, I want him to be slow, like the walk truck holes. Yeah, well that's all you have to work with him. But the reason I'm really proud of you is that you won champion two times on two different horses in two different shows, two days apart. Basically, yeah, I'm good at winning champion. And you didn't let it go to your head at all. You are, you just... Like, they pronounced that everyone got a ribbon, but not first place. And I'm like, I'm going to get first place. Did you know? So yeah, when... it's like, I know that you're going to get all first place. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, how did, when did you know that you were going to get first place? Like, do you, what, let me interview you. As a horse rider in a competition, when, how, when do you know you're going to get up there, a high up ribbon? Do you, like, wait and watch because for everybody else? When ev the judge pronounces everyone's ribbons, and then none of them get first, and I'm like... So, when everybody <laughs> else starts getting ribbons, and you haven't got one yet, you start to get excited inside? Yes, because you get first if no one else gets first. Yeah. Like, so. I always get first. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always Not always, but it was fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, that's what I do out there, too. Like so. what I say. It's just a lesson with people judging you. Yeah, just a lesson with people judging you. And you're used to being judged by, like, 75,000 people, yeah, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that's what I do. As a mom, I sit out there, or I stand out there, and I'm like... <laughs> I stand out there and then if they don't call my kid's name like in the first three calls like fifth fourth If they don't call my kid's name fifth fourth or third. I'm like ooh, Because I know that it's coming, but yeah, it was a really fun weekend It is one day after the show and I'm already excited for the next show. Willow has the choice to go into the bottom field and eat the hay and she's at the bottom. Yeah, I love but that. I love I'm opening up that field and letting them have more room. Okay, let's do chores, sister. So 
Gabby unpacked the tack trunk pretty much for us. This is the carnage, you guys, of showing. We have so much mess here. Look at even the pants that the girls wore get thrown into the tack trunk. So here are our first aid kits. I am going to keep them together. This one has all of our bandages and this one has all of our medications. I'll put them both down here. That way, when we are ready to go to a show again, because we're going again and again and again, we'll just be able to grab them out of there and throw them in our tack trunk. My neck, I don't know if you guys can see, is so sunburned, you guys. Like, you can't even tell on the camera how sunburned I am. This towel's gonna get washed these are the courses that we did these are the courses that we got it shows how the, how the jumps are gabby do you think we should keep these or throw them out keep what? the courses that we did keep them. okay one thing that i noticed that we didn't have that we needed that we kind of had was um a mounting block we didn't bring a mounting block to the show and we needed a mounting block but we had the tote boxes like their tack uh their little um brush boxes and that really worked for us so um that was really handy to have come on i need to show you something stella cannot have treats oh she gets them because she's exercising <laughs> stella and her mini ribbons from last year down to the barn and she said that they fell in the horse poop so she won't take them back up to her room so I've been making this little wall here uh, with horse ribbons this side is still piece these are just last year's ribbons this is for one from this year um that I found in the tack trunk but anyway I have a question for you guys here's my question who wins the ribbons is it the horse or is it the rider does the rider put them in her room or does the horse get them on his stall like what what happens who's the winner Comment below who you think wins the ribbon. You know how we always talk about like the connection between our horses and, and us, like how every horse, like how you have to build a connection between your horse before you can really accomplish great things. Well, I don't know anything about that. I know like that they all love all of us. All of our horses love every single one of us and recognize us and feel safe. Our geldings felt so safe and so comfortable. I've never seen Storm that comfortable at a show before. Like he just stood at the trailer and ate and Finn was a rock star. And I know it's because they feel comfortable and they feel bonded, but there's like this whole other level that I didn't understand. And I want to have that whole other level with Stella so bad. And she has it with Gabby. Like horses choose. It's the horse that chooses. So Stella loves Gabby. Like she likes me. She knows me. She tolerates me, but her heart belongs to Gabby. And the weirdest thing though that happened to me recently is that Finn his heart belongs to me. It's so crazy. Like, I don't even understand how it happened. Like, I don't even want to love that horse because it's not my horse to love. It's Sophie's horse. And she works really hard building a bond with him. And she does everything with him. But Storm responds well to a really strong leader. Stella responds well to a really strong leader. Finn responds to love. That's what he wants. If you get Finn in trouble, he gets scared and then his baby brain takes over and he just gets crazy because he's scared. But when Finn gets scared, he looks for me and I can look in his eye and I can, as soon as I walk toward him, he goes, <gasps> and it's like the most incredible feeling. So now I'm addicted to that feeling and I'm like, Whenever he go, whenever he's getting frustrated, I just go over and I say, Finn, you're okay. And I stare in his eye and literally he just calms down. Like, it's just so crazy. So yeah, now I'm, I'm falling in love with Finn. Like, falling really hard in love with Finn. And obviously other people have experienced this where a horse chooses them. And... I just, I never knew that it was like a, a real thing. Like, but yeah, he loves me, you guys. Like, Finn loves me. All right, so Gabby's gonna ride Stella today for a little bit. 
And I'm gonna do what Laura does at the barn. Been eating it. Sit around and do nothing. I hope that's what she does, because that's what I plan to do. Sophie's tacking up Willow. Gabby's tacking up Stella. And I got Storm bugging me here. Storm. They, they want to eat already. They already want supper. It's not even time yet. Oh, look how good Stella is. Putting on the bridle really easily. She wants to work. And sometimes when I'm not ready, she just puts her head right into the bridle. Like. And I'm here with Finn and Storm. Storm, what are you doing? I'm bored. Are you bored? He wants to be worked, but he'll be too tired and saying he needs You guys are having a break. You guys are having a well deserved break from yesterday's show and Saturday's show. They need a break, and they're going to have a break for two days. Today and tomorrow, they're going to have a break. I'm not sure if we're going to do lessons tomorrow, because I think they need to, they deserve a break. Yes. Don't they? Especially Finn, who got grand champion. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. What do you have to say about that, Finn? He's really shy. He doesn't want to talk about it. What do you want to say about it, Finn? Nope, he's a shy pony. Can sell a workout. We need a bitless bridle for her. We need to, no, we just need a bitless bridle for her. Pretty fast there. Gabby is really giving Stella a workout today. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.